No, you're not going to get an exact answer. You're not going to get an exact answer on this question you're thinking right now from any SEO or any marketer. Sorry to disappoint you, but I will be giving you some realistic scenarios on how long does it take to rank on Google. Now, when I say rank on Google, I'm talking about the top three positions because those are the ones where you'll start to get the clicks. Now, here's the answer, long and short, and you're going to hate this. So I'm not going to say, I'll just show you right now. Oh, and if you can't see it, let me zoom in. Yep, it depends. Like any question ever, and every SEO says, it depends. And it's true, it does depend on many different things. No SEO, no matter how good they are, no matter how much experience they've got, can give you an exact answer. Answer. It's always going to depend on your site. However, I'm going to tr try do my best to answer this question. So I'll be gif giving you different scenarios based on my experience. And of course, they're not going to be 100% correct because you'll always find exceptions. You'll find plenty of exceptions. Um, but this is just based on my experience. So what is my experience? I've been doing SEO for over seven years now. I've worked with many different businesses, whether that's local, whether that's e-commerce types of businesses, whether that's B2B, B2C, all the way to a multi-billion dollar corporation. So I've been all around the block. And here are the factors that determine the amount of time it takes for you to rank. So first and foremost, your domain authority. So obvious things out the way like the content good is um, hitting the right search intent. I'm not including the very obvious stuff you likely already know. So domain authority, essentially the content, backlinks and the age of your site along with the age of those um, pages as well as the links pointing at your pages. It all takes age to really gain that power, to really power up and level up. Next up is your topical relevance. How many pages are there related to a topic? So let's just say you've got desks and you write all about desks. Well, you can get more deeper than that. You can go for gaming desks, for productivity style desks. Let's say gaming desks as an example. So gaming desks for um, couples, gaming desks um, for corner rooms. So you can just go on and on and on. So topical relevance. So how many pages are there on your site related to a topic. Next up, the competition. Is it high competition? Is it a low competition? Now, if you want to learn how to find low competition keywords, then check out my keyword research methods. These three are really good. It'll get you started. So, next up is on-page SEO. I'm just going to assume you already know some basic on-page SEO, like how the keyword and meta title URL, um, the H1 etc just some basic stuff so i'm going to assume you already know that type of stuff and if you don't um pfft, you probably need to go for go for a different guide because this isn't for you so i'll be giving you three main scenarios that you'll likely be in because most of my viewers they're likely niche site owners and if you're a business um this will apply to you but that's mainly my audience so i'll be giving you what my experience has shown and again there's always going to be plenty of exceptions to this rule because that's just the game of SEO you'll find plenty of crappy little sites that don't have much authority that can outrank sometimes the big boys out there so just keep that in mind so the first scenario let's say you want to rank page one or page two within 24 hours of submitting it to Google search console so typically what I find is there's 100 topically related pages so not total pages that's very important not total pages i just completely misspelled total but 100 topically related pages and then a minimum domain authority of 30 i have seen um domain authorities of 25 get away with this and of course this is a bit of a man vanity metric because it can be manipulated but it's pretty. It's a pretty good gauge. I'm talking about uh, Moz's um, SEO extension, uh, DA checker, Mozbar. Sorry. And then the type of keyword will be low, 
to low medium competition types of keyword and the site age has to be at least two plus years old so if you want to rank one or the second page of Google within 24 hours of indexing you'll typically need these again I see typically so what's the next scenario that you'll probably be in so you've got a new site I'm assuming it's within eight months even 12 months is a new site but I'm going to stick with eight months so 100 related pages or less very low competition keywords and as a result you'll rank anywhere within the top 100 when publishing an article when as soon as it gets indexed even after a week you could land anywhere absolutely anywhere you could even land page one you could land page one um, 100 within page 100 just about keeping in there that's what happens with a new site don't expect anything so what's the next scenario and I've also added a bonus scenario so any site age a domain authority of 15 and below and this typically happens when you let your site sit so what a lot of people like to do they have this strategy and it has been successful in the past not so much now these days because of the constant release of updates and possibly Google having a content refresh type of algorithm although that's not proven I don't believe not, not to my current knowledge but people will make these sites throw some content on there and then just let it sit and see where it lands um, after a few months or even a year so these pages are typically 200 pages or less let's say you've got and you're targeting very low to low competition keywords so you're just trying to go for anything with a bit of search volume that's very low in competition and then you can rank anywhere basically in Google I've seen this constantly um, when you let your site sit eventually it just does die I know you can name different um, people probably that have sites sitting there for years now uh, that are still bringing in a paycheck but many of them are just on a steady decline because of 2023 the updates that have been rolling out and I'm sure it's going to be the same with same trend with 2024 Google is getting rid of a lot of these types of sites they're just trending downwards um, when you're letting your site just sit there so it doesn't matter how old your site is if it's a domain of domain authority of 15 according to Moz I'm assuming you've probably not built backlinks or very few that's why it's staying at that very low domain authority despite it aging because you haven't been actively um, building those backlinks so you could rank anywhere within the top 100 200 pages or less and very very low competition keywords you have to keep building otherwise you can get wiped out now let's go on to the next scenario I didn't quite type this in next scenario so this is the last scenario and I'll be telling you what you should do instead so let's say your site age is five plus years you've got domain authority 40 when you start getting a domain authority of 40 you know that means you've built some good links assuming you haven't tried to um, hire some stupid fiber gig to try and manipulate the DA so this is when you typically start um, entering into authority mode from my experience working with different clients whenever they publish they can hit basically the second page pretty comfortably and within a week or a month they'll automatically hit the first page so this will be a minimum of 1000 pages plus and medium competition so we're not sticking with low competition we're starting to go for bigger chunks it can typically take six to eight months and those are the three scenarios plus this bonus scenario um, I'm assuming if you're watching you don't have this type of site so what should you do instead so instead of thinking oh how long is am I going to is it going to take to rank map out a forecast based on worst case scenario <clears throat> so let's just say you've done your keyword research you've predicted the search volume along with the actual metrics of your site so your DA and then you're comparing it to the competition you need to plan out a forecast I won't be going over that in this video because I want to keep it short but if you want to know how to plan something like this out and um, even present it to a client just let me know and that's essentially it and again I know you don't like hearing that answer it depends but it really really does it really at the end of the day does come down to this 
it always depends and it depends on these particular metrics so especially the DA you need to keep increasing this constantly being on the ball when it comes to domain authority and links SEO used to be more passive and it still is but not as much as it used to be because again I think Google's still trying to figure things out we've just seen things like Reddit and LinkedIn when it comes to Parasite SEO everyone's just jumping on the bandwagon now I actually remember I used to rank an article for Parasite SEO and it used to be number one for years but regardless I've got a gift for you if you haven't already make sure to download the easy SEO extension I'm giving away some free API keys I don't know for how long um, I'm not for this video because the previous video it didn't really get much comments so I'm gonna hold on out on that because um, it can get quite pricey when I give away basically API keys to someone else because whenever you use the keyword king it'll charge me but don't worry if you don't want to use the keyword king to its full extent um, you can still use this tool for free and it'll show you lots of useful stuff that you can check out and that's it for this video and if you've stayed all the way to this point I'm assuming you're very serious about SEO and you want to take it to the next level I'm currently allowing people to go on a call with me for one hour and basically I'm basically seeing where they need to improve on SEO whether that's their site or whether they're an SEO professional so if that sounds something like you like you'd want to do then I could take you to a completely different level within SEO in just one hour so if that sounds like something you'd be interested in then you just book a consultation fill out the email we'll set a time and that's that's it thanks for your time and I'll see you in tomorrow's video see ya